Hey guys, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the hotel that we were staying in newest. Um, this was last year, so the video is already pre-recorded, but I'm just doing a voiceover. Um, the audio was pretty terrible last year, and I just got my camera, so I didn't really know how to work it. But hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so starting off at the door, there is a bolted lock, basically to lock anyone out who has a key or doesn't have a key. On the top of the lock, there is a um, emergency map. It's for fire drills as well as any kind of emergency that you will um, experience during the um, duration of your stay. In every hotel, there's a closet and in front of the closet on the door that slides, there is a full length mirror so you can see your full outfit um, before you leave the room. And behind me was the single bathroom that each room has. Inside of it was a standard Western um, sink. Next to it was the shower, which had a mobile head. And um, we decided to bring our own towels. The gray one's mine, the orange one's my roommate, as well as the gray towel, which is mine's. But the hotel gives you... Um, your own towel so it, it wasn't really a requirement for you to bring a towel it's just that we thought that we wanted one just because we were in Walmart in um, America at the time okay next was the Western toilet which isn't really normal in China um, normally you see uh, in the ground toilets or as they call it squat toilets in China uh, Western toilets would only be found in hotels as well as uh, restaurants more popular restaurants, not more so um, Chinese restaurants. Coming out of the bathroom, I'm carrying you straight into the cubby, which is on side of the closet, which had the mirror. Uh, the cubby has a pretty tall, tall like shelf, as well as a drawer that we didn't really put things in, mainly because you probably would lose it, as well as two shoes that were given um, by the hotel for each um, person inside the room. Normally they give you the shoes basically to walk inside of your room instead of wearing your um, outside shoes, which would be carrying a bunch of germs, but it is an Asian thing. So we kind of got accustomed to it. Um, those were mines. And the reason why I'm wearing mines was because uh, I had class in about an hour and 30 minutes. So I didn't really feel like taking them off on the side of the first cubby is another cubby, which held the teapot as well as two teacups and a few tea bags, which were complimentary from the hotel. Uh, this is kind of standard in any hotel, which we had in Shanghai, Beijing, and other hotels that we stayed in. Um, inside that cubby, we also had an outlet for the teapot, which was really convenient. Um, with the outlets, it's more so um, Chinese, more than westernize in the hotels although you can use um the, your u.s or western outlets or plugs um for the top piece of it the bottom piece was strictly for um, chinese on the side of the cupboard was my outfit from the welcoming ceremony earlier that day uh, i gave a speech in chinese which they kind of really appreciated um, I'm not entirely sure that this will be happening again, but I do know that there will have to be a representative to speak for both the teachers as well as the students. Next to my bed were the shoes that I decided to bring to the uh, summer camp. I brought two heels, one flat as well as one sneaker, which is a total of four shoes. The reason why I brought two heels was because I wanted to basically have options if I decided to um, change my outfit for the welcoming ceremony. Um, I also didn't know if we were going to be doing any um, formal kind of outing, so I wanted to bring a pair of um, heels just in case. Next, I'm going to show you the overview of the whole room, starting from the wall on the right side until the wall on the left side of me. Each of the rooms inside the hotel came with two beds, a nightstand, a couch, um, a computer desk, as well as a chair, as well as a TV and a TV stand. 
and sorry about the mess, but um, earlier that day we went to the uh, welcoming ceremony, so we didn't really have time to clean up before um, we went for our lunch or our breakfast. The day after or the day of, um, it normally wasn't that messy, but that was just an off day, I guess. Okay, so this is my bed, and the other one is my roommate's. In every room, there's a mini little nightstand where we have two outlets, a complimentary phone for you to call downstairs and any outside calls. Um, we use both of our outlets to basically charge our phone at night. Um, the outlets are Chinese, but we actually was able to use our um, U.S. or our Bahamian um, chargers. My charger for my camera um, was actually made into a Chinese charger because I had an adapter for it. Normally, um, electronics will actually send you um, the attachment that you're supposed to attach to the main body. I also had some batteries for my camera as well as some yuan, which is Chinese currency. Uh, it was about maybe... $30, 30 US dollars, but it was actually like 120 um, UN. It was a good amount. So um, before your trip, you should definitely check out the currency rate just to see how much you'll really need for um, shopping. Our room also came with two bed lights, but uh, for some reason we couldn't get them to work. I'm not sure if we just didn't figure it out or um, they were actually broken. Uh, everyone else's room had those and it worked, but ours for some reason didn't. Okay, so that's my roommate Robin. Gorgeous, isn't she? Um, she actually just came from breakfast, which I missed because I lost my uh, breakfast ticket, which sucked. But um, apparently I could have just went anyway and they would have given me breakfast, but Nobody came and told me, so I just starved for the whole morning until lunch. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you have any other questions, just hit me up in an email. The email is on the website. Or you can use the contact form, which is on the contact page.